We can often strive for perfection when it comes to our stamping, but how about trying for that loose, sketchy look instead? You can easily achieve that sketchy look even with simple stamps, and today I'm showing you how. I'm Verity and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, why not think about subscribing so you don't miss out on my next video. For this card, I'm using the All To New Charming Doodles stamp set along with the All To New Spring Bouquet 6 Mini Ink Cube set. The images in the stamp set comes with the bold solid layer and an outline detailed layer. Now in addition, I'm also using the All To New Sketchy Floral stamp set for the sentiment. So I'm pairing the Script So Happy stamp with the To Call You A Friend sentiment strip. When creating a background like this, it can often be useful to stamp the sentiment first. This is to allow you to build your images up around the sentiment. So I've placed a piece of Nina Classic Crest Solar White 80 pound cardstock into my Misty and positioned the sentiments in the center of the panel. To stamp the sentiment, I used the All To New Crisp Permanent Black ink. So to make the background look much more natural, it's best to allow the design to continue off the page. So to stamp off the card, I'm using my misty corners in my platform. I'm taking the solid layers of the floral images in the stamp set and positioning them in one corner of my card panel. Next, I'm inking up the stamps with the All To New Baby Pink Ink and Fuchsia Mini Ink Cubes and stamping this onto the card. Now I hadn't conditioned my stamps prior to using them, so they're stamping a little splotchy and as I've used my Misty, I can re-stamp them again to smooth out the ink. However, you can condition your stamps by taking a dry eraser and rubbing it over the stamp. Then just smooth off with the stamp with your fingertips afterwards. This will make your stamp look cloudy, but the ink will now cover the stamp well, so when you stamp, you'll get good coverage of ink onto the card. So I've rotated the panel and stamped the same images in the other corner. This makes it a quicker process to build up the background by rotating it and stamping it again. For a little more interest to the stamped images, I'm taking a slightly darker colour to the edges of each stamp. So I'm using fuchsia ink when I've used baby pink ink originally and I'm using magenta ink when I've used fuchsia ink originally. Before I stamp, I'm just taking a wet wipe to dab over the ink just to soften the edges up to reduce the harsh lines. So remember, dye ink smooths out over a few minutes, so allow it to dry for a smooth look. For an even smoother look, you can stamp the image again back in the original colour. This will then smooth out and blend with the darker colour as well. So after I started to build up the background with the florals, I'm going in with a selection of the leaves from the stamp set using the Auto New Limeade Lime and Fresh Leaf Greens from the Spring Bouquet Mini Ink Cube set. Again, doing the same thing here by adding darker colours to the edge of the stamp, to soften the harsh, softening the harsh lines with a wet wipe and then stamping for the leaves again. For a quicker card, you can easily miss this step out and no need to add the darker colours if you don't want more depth to the stamping. Originally, I was going to keep the sentiment just as it was stamped onto the card, so I used post-it notes just to mask the sentiment so the stamping wouldn't overlap and detract from it. So for the sketchy look to the card, I've taken my card panel out of my Missy and I'm using acrylic box to stamp the outline images in crisp permanent black ink. I'm using the acrylic box to get a much more looser and imperfect stamping when I'm stamping each image. When stamping each image, I'm making sure that the images don't truly align with the solid layer underneath. This will give a much more loose and artsy look to the background, so I'm just ever so slightly rotating the stamp. A few of the leaves do not have coordinating outline stamps, so I'm just taking a black fine liner pen and drawing loose lines around the leaves. For some added interest to the background, I'm taking that black fine liner pen and then adding lots and lots of dots all around the stamped images within the white space. So when you've finished, it looks like you've created your own pattern paper. After I'd finished adding the dots, I decided that the sentiment got a little lost within the background, so I re-stamped the sentiment onto some black cardstock and covered it in opaque bright white embossing powder by WOW. So as it heat sets, it creates a really good contrast for the sentiment, which will help it pop off the card. 
This card didn't need any embellishments as the background is what the card is all about. This technique of misaligning your outline stamps is a fast and great way of achieving that artsy and sketchy look to your cards, even if you can't sketch yourself. And adding those small dots with a black pen is a fantastic way to add a little more detail and quickly add to your design. This card was produced as part of my design team work for Bumbleberry Paper Crafts. It's an online UK EU stockist of American stamps and dies, so make sure you check out Katrina's site. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified when my next video is up. Until next time, happy crafting!